Yo, what's up guys? Sorry for the lack of enthusiasm I might give in this video. The title of the video today is, this is the worst advice Hamza has ever given. You know, I can't really comment on any other Hamza's advice. I think it's all solid. However, with this advice, I could say confidently that this shit, this, this shit was trash. And the advice was, how to stand up for yourself if you're getting bullied. Uh, I got bullied myself and I didn't solve it that way. So I'm going to take a bit now. Limited edition. It's rare. I don't think they sell it anymore. Mm. Anyways. He said, Oh, if you're getting bullied and then they, they tease you and they mock you, just say, like, So, who asked? Some shit like that. Like, like a. So I watched the entirety of the video, but it was this was a while ago. I watched it when it was new, and you know it's been a while since it's been new. But I didn't really find time to comment on the the video because I think uh, the video was completely really stupid, bro. Like just tell the kid to fucking fight back, stand up for himself. Literally, they talk shit. Be like, the fuck? Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? You're looking dead in the eye when you're saying it as well. But you know how to fight. The thing though, the quickest way to mitigate all sorts of how do I say this? trepidation and danger within your apparent how to this instantaneous reality right in the sense that okay the guy's bullying you right there and he bullied you for a while now but now it's been a month and you know school breaks over summer breaks over while he was partying having fun with like i don't know with some ugly girls with some ugly party that was kind of dead you were out in the gym boxing gym you know, mma gym you were training your ass off you try, he tries to bully you again after the month, you know, everything's normal for the week, you don't need to see each other, you don't talk, then after the week ends, he sees you, you see him, you trade eye contact this time, this time, like, it's, um, he cheeses you, you look at him, you give him a disgusting, you spit at the ground at him, and you're like, don't fucking do that again, and he's like, what the fuck, he gets confused, like, holy shit, what the hell just happened, and then he sees again, he tries to tease you, but he tries to be more aggressive this time, pushes you, etc, etc, and you just whip him over with a fucking, <laughs> with a left hook, like, what the fuck does he do then? You just knock him out cold, and he just gets, he gets these, like, what the fuck, what the fuck, bang, 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 like, what the fuck is he supposed to do then, dude? Like, you just got beating on him, relentlessly, like, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm not, like, inciting violence, guys. Because I was bullied myself, I would, God, God forbid anything happens to kids, you know, but in fucking high, in middle school, high school, that's when the most fights happen. And the reality of the situation is that you've got to be able to stand up for yourself and defend yourself if the time comes. If the time comes. But that, let's put that out there. I'm not saying, hey, beat up your bully once you learn martial arts, which is not a good thing. But it's for a fucking, bro, it will be damn near elite a thing, relieving to know that, hey, I can fucking stand up for myself now if he tries to do anything. Yeah, and the thing is, yeah, he probably will try to do something sooner or later if he's comfortable enough in order to talk shit to your face. You no, know, it will escalate sooner or later. You know, a man has an ego for a reason. A man has to defend that ego for a reason. So when shit, shit happens, shit happens. I think that's better, much better advice than, oh yeah, so who disregard, disregard. Like, bro, motherfucker, shit goes down. Fucking school. <laughs> Real life, at, 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 when it comes to adult time, people are usually chill. And the are just like, run away from me. I don't know. When it comes to school fights where kids are more like, how do you say this, territorial, hormonal, they're forced to be in the same spot, one place, all the time. If you learn how to fight, you can quickly and easily mitigate a lot of the things that are happening there. And I think that's the best advice you could, I could possibly give to only my younger son I was getting bullied. Like, for example, if I was younger and I was bullied, but I knew how to fight to stand up for myself, I knew how to throw punches like that, and I knew how to fucking, bro, I knew how to fucking crack, I, I knew how to crack someone's jaw. And knock them the fuck out. And if I had that thought in my mind, yeah, I can just knock them out. Like, cool. I can just mitigate all risk because I'm the danger. <laughs> Some Skylar shit. Skylar, I'm the danger. <laughs> and yeah, that's the way I would approach it. That's the way I would tell anyone to approach it. Good enough to stand up for yourself. Because the, the honest, brutal truth is, well, you're young men fucking bully. Young girl, the girls are usually actually fight more. It's weird. I had to like fight a completely karma where they fight back. It's very weird. It's very, I don't say this. Black and white for girls. For what I've seen, it could be more. I don't know. I'm not seeing it, but I'm not seeing that. There's a lot of girls, right? For guys, 
punk and I guess fucking stand up for yourself because all I've seen is like guys they usually stand up for themselves first fucking week and then like shit escalates first fucking week and the bully's like mm, never mind he's not easy prey or the easy prey like kind of beta male beta boy fatherless child myself you know they end up going through that years of struggle and hardship and fucking worry and you know fear and pussy pussyism pussy is a pussy shit throughout their school experience and school becomes increasing increasingly unfun because you don't feel how it is free because you can't really stand up for yourself because anyone can walk over you you know and I think that boxing has saved my life personally and learning martial arts has saved my life it's changed my life so much for the better I have like a, bit of, a bit of control in my life now because my inner locus of control but more than that I know that if anyone comes up Starts talking shit. Like, oh my god, bro, look at this. This is Marvel on the bottom. See that? Anyone that tries to come up, like any old school bullies, they see me in the street trying to say hi and shit, and they try to act like, I'll be nice, of course, and then, you know, ha, it's old days. When they start trying to talk shit to my face, I'm not gonna take that with a grain of salt. Fuck out. <laughs> and, you know, Boys, they often do have the fancy of like fighting back, standing up against their bully. But like when they stand up against their bully in real life, or when it actually does happen, like they don't, when it has an opportunity for it to happen, it comes along and they, they just don't fucking do it. They pussy away, they cower away, they like look the other way and some shit. And I've been there, bro. And it's a fucking shit place to be. And I think it's scummy for Hamza to say. I think it's genuinely scummy. Like, I think it's something that not enough people are holding Hamza accountable for. It's scummy. Like, I like Hamza a lot, by the way. I've following Hamza for a while. This is kind of one of the Hamza meta channels. But I think it's scummy in order for to tell a kid, like, just to, oh, it's verbally fight back. No, don't, don't, no violence, no violence. Because, like, we're scared of being, how do I say this, cancelled. But, like, think about that 14 year old, 13 year old boy who's literally mentally and emotionally tortured in school and at home as well. And he can't just stand up for himself. I know one of those type of boys. It was me, it's my cousin. It's a lot of young men in this, in this day and age. Like, how, what the fuck? And we're just tortured through our high school, middle, middle school, high school experience, effectively. But you can't throw a punch. People, and then, like, because you can't, it kind, of, it, it kind of, like, means that you can't really hold your own, you can't hold, hold your territory, you have control of your own life. Like, it's that one little thing. Like, it just it, it evolved into bigger things. I don't think a lot enough people talk about. And, like, I think that the, way, the, ham, the advice Hamza gave is criminal. Like, it's criminal. And after, after he just, like, fucking insults your parents, he's like, oh, your mother, like so? Well, I fuck your mother. It's like, something like that. And then he's going to look you dead in the eye, and he's going to fucking say it without hesitation. And then he's going to think, and he's going to say your mother's name, because he probably fucking stalks you or some shit. I don't know, it's crazy. <laughs> this guy that bullied me, he stalked my mom as well. It's crazy. Yeah. He was a hoe, bro. She was a hoe. She tried to hide me. I looked at her dead in the eye. You know, and I was like, don't fucking talk to me. And I went back to doing my work. He's like, yeah, I don't want to talk to you anyway. And then she was like going through a, I'm a changed person, revamp arc. But like deep down, we all know she's a whore still. Like, how the fuck are you losing your virginity at like fucking year eight, year nine? Like the fuck, year eight, year nine. I was going home looking forward to fucking playing Roblox. This bitch was taking dick. And like, she, she, was, she had a boyfriend like 16, 17, 18 at the time. Bro, you were a victim. She a victim. How old is that? It's like 13, 14, 15, some stupid shit like that. And she lost her virginity. Like a fucking idiot. And she, she bullied me and I fucking fell for it. That's why I'm so obsessed with the shoes. I'll admit the truth with you. I'm so obsessed with the shoes with this one girl who used to bully me for my shoes. She used to mock me. And the guy that beside me, he used to like, he didn't egg it on, but it used to be there. Like, 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 like laughing is fine. Making it worse, you know? Oh, I just, I wish something I could do I, when, I, when I go back. I wish I just could just fucking... Chris Brown that whole man, that's crazy. Okay, I'm not, I'm not a woman beater, guys. Well, in this case, I'm not a woman beater, I'm a bitch beater. <laughs> it's just an interesting thing to look back on, and I think that the advice Hamza gave is, is, is not going to go far. I don't know why his newest video, I was watching it, but it was so stupid to me. Like, it was, I, the whole thing, should be, the, the first thing you should say is learn how to fight, learn how to stand up for yourself physically. Because you can talk as much shit as you want, but if you know you can whoop his ass. You can knee him in the face, like, just, just hook him so hard, and then he just goes, 
And, he, and he's like, huh, oh, huh. Oh. You go, ah, ah, ah. You know what I'm saying? If you know you can do that, there's very, very little chance of you feeling that, how do you say this, this overwhelming level of insecurity and nervousness and shyness in a school environment, at least. The fights are a bit common, even though it shouldn't be, but fuck it, it's common. It is what it is. Like, what can we do? I think that's the worst advice that happens ever given in my time. And the kid was like listening really intently as well. Because we really looked up to a uh, uh, thing, not honest, to Hamza. I kind of like Hamza as well. I look up to him a lot. That doesn't mean he can't make mistakes. It's like one of the biggest mistakes I've ever made. I'm not encouraging violence, guys. Violence is the, how do I say this? The base state for young men. Like we, we think violently, that's why we play video games that are violent because that offsets our urge to be violent in real life. If we desire to be violent in real life, we might pick up a sport that's competitive, that has that male a nature of semi-violence, maybe football pushing, etc, etc, Bo boxing, martial arts obviously, kickboxing, etc, etc, wrestling, grappling. That offsets our how is violent tendency. We have a violent tendency. When a, when a man is sad and crying, it isn't just like, Hoo! it's like, a fucking temper tantrum. I want to smash shit in, in the ground. When I'm sad or crying, like I want to fucking break someone's head. I want to cave their skull with my fist. Because in my ways, those are the how do I say this intrusive thoughts that young men get, and I, I think men get in general as well. We have this desire to be violent, to be temperamental, to be con not necessarily controlling. I mean, yeah, con yeah, controlling. I'd say controlling to be in control. How also. The, the desire to have like power over other men I feel like books like The 48 Laws of Power are so popular because young men find that book like riveting in the sense that hey oh shit I'm, 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 I have power with him he respects me you know respect is how it is commonly it's one of the most common desires from one young man to another like oh, for example I'm stuttering my words here and I'm following my words here a bit I'll admit the truth my bad for example, I'm Steve, and I I like Tom, and I want Tom to respect me, because I'm that, because I want I want Tom to see me as that guy, as that man, and yeah, if you do the right action, you know, the fight, you're in, you're in good physical shape, you know, you're very very calm, stoic, uh, think individual. For the most part, you will achieve what you want. You will get that respect. Maybe you could get a lot of girls, get a lot of money as well. What was that? What's that song? Rich and <laughs> worth shit. What was it? This boy was all about money and pussy. <laughs> Stupid, man. Yeah, it's true. At a base level, yes, it's true. Yeah, it's, oft it's often weird, like, I'm, like, I'm literally encouraging kids to pick up um, thing, a sport which allows you to smash one's face in. But it, it isn't just that to me. I think that's the sport of boxing and sport of martial arts in general and all, all sports. Unless you're playing, doing fucking Aikido or Krav Maga or some shit, I don't know. Well, you gotta move this way, and then you gotta, you gotta bang, 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 bang. It's like it's a, it's, a, it's like a a war field, not a war field, like a a wartime martial art. Like, like how the fuck are you gonna go against that? Like what the fuck? <laughs> Welcome to reality. You just fucking get your head blown off. Uh, I've never seen like a I've been doing Aikido for 20 years. I've been doing the, the thing, the battlefield. I've disarmed the hundred men of their guns. Like what the fuck? A hundred men of their guns. Like all usually trained soldiers. Motherfucker, you're gonna die. <sighs> I don't think any man lives there. It's like a, it wasn't sell out. Like karate, I think. Uh, that might be an insult to Krav Maga a bit. Yeah, what the fuck is that karate kid doing something like this? Like if he was like doing something like this. Like, ooh. Or just bang bang, just fucking. <laughs> what the fuck? He's one team down. The fuck? He's leaving some wide open. Like what the fuck? He dies. <laughs> stupid. So stupid. And I was like, and none of these my flats. So like some pro karate thing, and it just turns into like kickboxing, which is like ultimate form of cry anyway. So that's fine. Yeah. So that's what I think about. The thing is about boxing is like it usually teaches you to be very calm, disciplined, and well behaved. Keeps you busy, keeps your mind focused, and it gets you into good shape as well. And then when you look at me in the mirror, you're like, "Oh my god, oh shit, oh oh, oh oh oh." 
and you're looking at a mirror like that, you know, you feel a bit proud of yourself. That's why I would really recommend martial arts. <sighs> and you know what's weird? In the school system, it's so fucked. Um, like, what happens usually is like, if you are in a situation like that, like where you stand up for yourself from the bully, like if the bully bullies you, is an interesting dichotomy, which is why I think school is bullshit in a sense, because like you learn bullshit for the, for the next like 20 years, I don't know how long the school system is, but you usually like a 20 years school system, unless you drop out like me. <laughs> you, you go through the school system for like 20 years, and you're taught to be a pussy, raise your hand and go to the toilet, and girls as well like, miss can I go to the toilet, I'm on my period, like, blood's leaking out of me, right? No, why did you do it at break time? Why did you do it at lunch time? Like, bitch, I don't control when blood comes out of me. Same with like, guys when they want to piss, but you know, period more painful. <laughs> I can imagine, but I don't know for sure. That's the way it usually is. And then the dichotomy is like, hey, I want to stand up for myself. This guy is literally fucking bullying me. He's teasing me emotionally, mentally, and physically, torturing me every single moment I'm in school. The only relief I feel in school is like when I'm in class and I'm like fucking daydreaming about some other shit I want to do. Like, you know, you know, speak to my crush, kiss my crush. I don't know what you guys fucking like. Or like get good grades and get real rich. And like, oh. I need to sleep in class. Like, I, I, I don't even fucking, I don't even daydream. I just like, it is. But... Like, I'm in, a, I'm in a good thinking position. I was like fucking on the side, you can see me, I'm dead asleep. I'm fine. <laughs> like, oh, classic, this is the classic. Um, but that's too big, obviously. So you gotta do none of this. And if like the teacher's like, um, hey, why are you sleeping in class? I'd be like, miss, my eyes are open. Fuck, that's racism. My eyes, because cause my eyes are small, because I'm Asian. This shit always works. Then you end up like, It actually did happen once though, because I was looking down at my work, and the guy thought I was sleeping. <laughs> Mr. S, I still remember you. I'm not going to say his last name, but Mr. S, I still remember you. Yo, what a fucking shit time to live in. Like, I do not want to go to the education system ever again. Like, school, I would rather go to work. Work is, like, infinitely, infinitely much better, because I'm just getting paid to get abused. And if shit happens, like, I get disrespected, like, I'm just going to fucking I'll stand my ground and I'll leave. I don't care. Um, that's what usually happens. It's just, it's just, it's just a shit place to be in, a shit time to be in. Because if you get bullied, and then you do nothing about it, like no one says anything. But if you, if you get bullied and you stand up for yourself and you try to bully the other guy back or like you know fucking defend yourself, or well, then you're in trouble. But this, this is the rare situation. Like this is a, a one whole like big shit test. Like, I remember one time in like year ten, year ten. Uh, I don't know, like was it like grade. Somewhere in high school, like middle of high school, roughly around the mark, I was in detention for like an hour. I needed to piss, and I was my, begging my teacher, who was a female, because like, how how is a woman gonna tell a man how to be a man? How's a man gonna tell a woman to be a woman, right? I don't. Maybe a man should tell a woman to be a woman, because women tell another woman to be a woman usually entail some potentially horrific. Like, uh, I'm forty and I'm divorced and there ain't no man around. I hit a wall, etc. So that isn't. An optimal reality to live in, and I have like seven cats, and yeah, it's not an optimal reality. It's very sad, for I a little, little pity for these women, but you know, they can't go around educating other women to be like them because educating and giving advice to other women because those women are gonna end up just like them, miserable and lonely. So, right, I'm gonna go to the main topic, which is about men. You know, I was in the detention begging my female teacher in order to let me go to piss. What the fuck, why? I just stand up and walk out, and then. I, st I was threatening it, but I'm gonna send him a walk out. And she's like, oh, I'm gonna call your parents. And I fucking, I, you know I did, you know I did, you said, I literally fell for it, bro. I stayed in there, like with fucking cramps all over, like I was gonna, I was gonna die. I felt, I, I was gonna, I felt like I was gonna piss in the corner of the other than the classroom. I literally had a thing, daydreamed of me pissing in the corner of the, the, the classroom. A year later, my mindset has changed a bit. Things have changed a bit. I got an hour detention again. I don't know what the fuck, they just kept killing me, I was the geek, I was the nerd, and they kept giving me hour detentions, bro. What the fuck? They're fucking, they're not picking on the kids, it's fucking it's their job, their job is school, like being a fucking in school is just bullying children. It's amazing. 
<laughs> he's getting shit. And then what would happen here was <laughs> so stupid, stupid to think about, man. It's honestly so stupid to think about. <laughs> and it was just, she gave the out of attention again, it was the same teacher. And then I didn't beg her this time. I just looked her in the eye and she said, and I said to her, you can call my parents. And I walked out the classroom and I took a piss and I went home. Like, and the guy in the reception was like, some of this clearly. Oh, so do you have a pass to go home? Like, no, the teacher, I was like, no, no, the teacher allowed me to go home, it's fine. And I was like, oh, yeah, whatever, okay. <laughs> the guy just don't give a fuck. Nobody gives a fuck. I think she called my, my mom that day, but I don't know what I'm saying. This is an interesting dichotomy to have. I think the education is flawed inherently. I don't like it at all. I think we need to revamp it completely and utterly. The fact that one person has so much power, you know, a lot of teachers, you know, they have never had power in their lives, they're usually geeks. I remember uh, um, this fat old white guy. Someone called him Santa Claus. His kids are brutally honest like that. And he fucking, like, he went AWOL. Like, he went red face. You know, when white guys, they get angry that their faces go red and shit. This is the, how this guy went. And then he was like, I'm gonna call your parents, etc. Et like, attention, 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 attention. And then this, obviously it was an overreaction. But the school was like, they always bum rip lick. They always, like, fucking dick ride and bum lick the, the teachers. Which leads to, which leads, I'm playing, I have the Wi Fi, so I'm playing, it's down to game. Which leads to, like, how do I say this? Just this overall sense of you can't really win against teachers. And the best way to do it is just, just leave, ex kid thing, and it's trying to explain to your parents when they call your parents in. It's like, I'm gonna call your parents, I'm gonna call your parents. Like, okay, call them then, what the fuck? I don't care. When you have that level of confidence, you want like, I can whoop his ass. Uh, along with that, I think it's very, very difficult in order to uh, think to not. Oh shit, this is gonna be fucking intense. I think my high school is like 7,000. It's not fucking brain dead. I have double vision. They just turn daytime. My high score is probably 20,000, it was on my computer. My eyes aren't even focused anymore. I can still see. You get me? I'm being instinctive with it. I can see the trajectory of the jump. It's too easy, bro.
Şey bu. Hadi ay internet video bulacağım. Bir oraya tırnağı bir işler arkadaşlar bu sonra. Ya. Asıl yaratsam her şeyi daha kalkmayı değer. How can I seriously go back to recording after playing, playing fucking game distracted like that, man? I don't know. Uh, it's interesting that got me to have it's interesting problem to have, and I think that a lot of young men feel disenfranchised because of it. I think it's a very, very sad thing to go through. Feeling of disenfranchisation, feeling of powerlessness, feeling of you can't really do anything. I think young uh, young women feel that as well. You can, um, young girls like that, but not so much to the power of men. Like men fucking kill themselves with this shit. Women kind of like just wall around in sadness for a while. Not to take away from what they feel, of course, from the men who preach, but yeah, it's just the way I think about that. That comes to me. But I still stand true to my advice. Uh, learning the ability to be stoic, learning the ability to fight, learning the ability to stand up for Jesus. Jesus, fuck everyone. Learning these things will be key towards you making progress in this aspect. Not learning them will fuck you up in ways you cannot possibly imagine. I have with my cousin, for example, I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example of me like running away, etc. etc. But I'll give you an example of my cousin. Like he has, he has a kind of mundane life in school. Normally, bullies him. Normally, pays them. He's like invisible. And then when he goes home, like his family kind of bullies him, abuses him, etc. And they walk all over him. And then um, they were talking shit to me one time because I, I bragged him out later than I should have. And then I was apologizing on text. And I was like, hey, sorry. I was being super respectful. Hey, sorry. I didn't really mean it. I, was, I said, ang, which is like a respectful, it means old brother. And it was like the respectful way of, um, the respectful way of saying, like, um, you know, Mr. or something like that. It was anger, it's okay, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's okay, don't worry, he'll be home. I think I'm with him, etc. etc. I'm Jimmy, I'm his cousin. And then we sent a picture of him. And then I was like, it's okay, it was And then he started swearing at me, like, you little shit, Jimmy, a thing, etc. I was like, what the fuck? The fuck are you talking to? Who the fuck are you talking to? And then for the first time, like, there was a bully right there. And I could stand up for myself. You guys know what I'm saying? You guys catching on? There was a bully right there. And he was threatening me. And I could stand up for myself. And it wasn't like the super. Oh. It was like more like, yeah, okay, I accept myself. Like, oh, you, you know, when you make your first hundred thousand pounds in business, when you get the thing that you you always wanted to get, there isn't a sense of like immense victory achievement, right? It's usually a sense of just relief and like satisfaction for a, a bit, and then you just move on to the next thing, right? I like it applies to like you know any achievement in video game, any achievement in real life, million dollars, ten million dollars. Once you make that amount, you're just like, oh, yeah, yeah, I make $10 million a year. I make $10 million a month. Like, I'm, I'm that guy. It becomes normal. Right. So I wasn't really too phased out by this. And then after the, like, you know, it was mad shit, bro. And then, like, bro, they were like, um, oh, bro, don't talk don't to me this over text, etc. What are you talking to? Thing, pull up to his house, and then just see what's happened. So I, anyway, I pull up to his house. Nothing fucking happened to the old pussies. Um, I put them to the house because I was just ready, ready, ready to fight. I was ready to fucking whoop all their asses. I didn't care. I was gonna fight, fight, swinging on everyone. I don't know. I don't care. With the three one, they had metal pipes. I would literally fucking whoop all of them because there's you know, short Asian people on the fucking route to me. After that, it was like, oh, come to this uh, thing's house and I started to see what you're talking. And then I found a name. This guy's like kids and fucking he lives in fucking Hampton and shit. I'm like, oh, you're cool, safe. Um, thing, Hampton, uh, thing, watch out for your kids, you live in Hampton, I know that for sure, don't, uh, thing, don't talk to me that way, you don't know who you're fucking talking to, and they left me on scene after, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good talk, and then his sister was threatening, the thing was threatening me as well, being acting all crazy, like, oh, I'm gonna go insane, instead of sort of bash crazy, I'm like, if my older sister talked to me this way, she can come to my fucking house, you can start acting insane in front of me, I'm like, fuck, bitch, oh, man, it's crazy, man, and of course, I'm not a woman beater, but, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm sorry. <laughs> bro, I'm even like Chris Brown, bro. No, it's, it's quite interesting, like, so much talk, 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 they talk so much shit over text. When, when shit comes down to shit, they do anything. I put up to the house, he's like, oh, I'm gonna talk to your parents, he doesn't know I'm single mom. Uh, things, watch me, if you, see, let's see if he talks to, that, to my face. I fucking, I saw his little brother. Um, uh, let's call him Chris, and I met, I met Tom. Tom was the little brother. 
Stacy was the sister. That's not their real names, obviously. And then Chris was the older brother. He was like, he's like fucking forty, bro. And then my my mom was friend was like, oh, you're talking to him, to him disrespectfully. Like, did you see how fucking he was talking to me? He was disrespecting me first. I was being respectful, bro. But when he started disrespecting me, I got fucking mad appropriately. So don't fucking put this back on me, because I'll be angry at you too. I'm angry at you because you're not you're not explaining that properly. You have to stand up for yourself in this situation. Because if I didn't stand up for myself and just took the blame, yeah, 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 being a pussy, nothing would have came out of that. I would have just felt like a pussy. Like the world wanted me to. They want to fucking hammer me down. Because have you seen that slime, the cube? You know, and then it opens the cube and, it's, and it goes out and it's like a super smiley face and it goes out and it gets punched back into the cube and then it closes the cube again. It's like never again. That's what it would try to do to me. But bitch, I fucking caught that fucking face. I started melting that face to the bone. And I started uh, thing crawling out and exploring the world out of the cube. Because I, I don't want to be a fucking pussy anymore. Because I am not a pussy anymore. And my cousin, meanwhile, like, he was like, oh, do you know what they said to him? Oh, it's 6.30pm, no places are open at this time. The fuck? It's true. A lot of places in, in England close at 6pm, McDonald's still open. I'm paying for his fucking meal. This, 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 and that. Now, what the fuck? Like, go home, go home, go home. They live in Camden, they live in Hampton, they live in, like, come, come, come London, bro. You can bring your sister, your brother, I was there. Didn't do shit. Too much talk, man, too much talk. But they, they uh, obviously, they won't worry for their little brother, I think. But they're way too aggressive and protective. It's gonna end up damaging any relationship that he develops with anyone. This is this is why, like, when he was receiving the messages, he was terrified, bro. I see. I I scroll through the messages that he was getting. They're all bullying him. The girls like, oh, you can't do this. You can't do that. Oh, you're gonna be in real big trouble. And he's a fucking fifteen-year-old kid. Like he's almost sixteen now, and he's traumatized. He, all he can think about is, oh, I want to go home and play Roblox, because Roblox is his escape. And this is why video games are bad, ladies and gentlemen, as an escape. Even though, I'll be the truth, I'll play video games. I probably played like 30, 40, 50 hours of video games up at this point. Because I'm going to reach a master predator or something. I'm probably going to reach master and chill out for a bit. Then I'm probably going to try to reach master a predator. Because I do want that predator to grow. Yeah, but that, that's like that's the reality of a lot of, a lot of things. They want to escape. And they have video games and porn and social media as cool mediums of escape. And I think that's fucking, that's, that's atrocious. That is fucking atrocious. I pull up to the house, and then I, they, they let me in, of course they did, I'm like, hey, I'm the cousin, where is everyone? I look them dead in the eye, the, the little brother Tom, I'm like, where's Chris? Where's Stacy? I said their names, where are they? Oh, they, the other, other swear, uh, okay, and like, uh, and he said, he, he said, he said, he must, oh, don't really, don't bring him at home, I think, this late, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I apologize for bringing him that late, but I look them dead in the eye, I look them dead in the eye, you can tell, you can tell, I'm looking at man dead in the eye, how he behaves. I can tell this guy was a pussy, bro. He just all talks shit. Like, is this the guy that talks shit? Is this the guy that talks shit? I'm like, yeah, that's probably me. I looked at dead in the eye. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Nothing. They all yabber on and did fucking nothing, bro. Is that a flag then? That's the reality of the situation, ladies and gentlemen. All verbal, all talk. A lot of people like that. If your bully is skinny or scrawny and you gain a bit of muscle and you know how to fight, bro, what the fuck? Why are you getting bullied by this guy? Stab him in half. And I don't mean that in like the ultra violent way, like, oh, like, God, you know, you know, you know, Dane in a thing when he just uh, he snaps down his spine. <sighs> if those shit, if, but if shit comes down to shit, like, you know, adrenaline, uh, rage, etc., might happen. But like, from what I thought of that situation is like holy shit everyone was fucking against me in that situation everyone was against me like why why are you against me even my own mother was against me oh you should have been nice I'm like man I was, I was fucking nice I was, gonna say, I was gonna say bitch I was nice but you know my mother's not a bitch you know she was actually similar to one I don't hate her by the way that, that, that's not very nice I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that back, take that back. but I uh, I showed her the messages. She's like, oh, yeah, you should be nicer. You have to understand. You have to, you have to empathize. You have to understand. And I, you know, I did. Instead of like, oh, mom, okay, mom, yeah, you're right, mom. I went up to her face. And I said, look at the messages. Look at my, my voicemail. I was super respectful and super nice. 
the voice went right out. Oh, hey, hey, I was super nice. I'm really apologize for bringing the cousin so late. Blah, 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 blah. And then she shot me. Oh, okay, I'm wrong. Like, what the fuck? Don't be against me. I'm your son. My own mother was against me. I was still for myself. Here's the reality situation. No one will stand up for yourself. And no one will come and save you apart from you. Alright? You have to have your own back. You don't have a sibling, like a fucking Andrew Tatris and Tate, but you will fucking, like fucking Luke Belmar. If you don't have a sibling like that, like, you know, strong family, cult like, clan like, clan more powerful, clan like responsibilities. Hey, you can't attack my, you know, you, you see it with the animal, right? You can't attack the young master, don't insult the young master. And they can't start acting up, and then the young master gets to think, yeah, he's like, no, you don't need to fight. Or he's like, he starts joining, he's like, what the fuck you say about me? And he starts drawing his sword and starts fighting, right? You know why? Because of ego, because of honor, because of respect. And when, you, when there is a lack of respect, when there's a disrespect, you need to be able to stand up for yourself in those situations. Yeah, I'm on the shit. I'll pop off there. <laughs> it's so crazy, they did fucking nothing, bro. He's like, oh, you're gonna be I'm gonna be really upset. I think, what do I call him? Melvin. Melvin. I wanna be, I think Tom was like to Melvin. Melvin, I want to be really upset if you come at the home late again. I'm like, okay, what are you going to do about it? If you're really upset. What are you going to do about it? And he just looked at me and he looked away like a pussy. Him with like, he had like fucking saggy ears from like, I don't know, he had some ring ears and shit. But he had that shit on before. He looked, thought it looked cool, piercings on his ears and it, like his ears sag and all that shit. But I'll rip that shit off. And I'll break your skull. The fuck is you talking about? Don't talk to my cousin like that, man. Hey, that's what happened. <clears throat> oh, they come back. That shit is too detailed to be made up. My imagination will be too r rivid and rich in order to make that up. That shit was real. I pulled up. They did nothing. Reality. I don't know it's birthday. I was just so fucking. Usually I'm not excited to spar. I'm really quite nervous of like fighting general. But I'm also, I was excited. I wanted to see what the fuck was happening. I could feel the nerves. The nerves when you feel excitement, the nerves is the same. But I could really tell, like, yeah, this is this is excitement. I want to see what fucking happens. I want to see this just chat. And, like, they think, they talk the talk, they do talk the talk, check. If they walk the talk, if they talk the talk, do they walk the walk? And do they talk, not they walk the talk? They don't walk the talk. The majority of the same thing of young men. And social media, right? Social media gives you this platform to tell people, kill yourself, or you should die, you're horrible, etc., 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 etc. But in real life, they would not do that shit. Because they know if they did, they would get their fucking skull crushed, their jaw sort of thing dislocated. They would not disrespect you like that in real life. I see them my friends as well. They talk so much shit online, and this the thing. They try to talk, talk shit in person. I think I think of it personally. Obviously, I will. Oh, you can't banter. Bro, if someone tells you they're gonna fuck your mother, and they say her name, and everything, like, you're gonna be somewhat offended. Come on, let's be realistic. Even if it's your boy. And you say that in person. What tissue? You're going to be offended. What the fuck? I think you'll be wrong if you weren't offended. I think you'll be a bit beta. I, like, I don't use that word lightly. I think it's a bit cringe. I don't use the word cringe like the other, but it's cringe like your mother's insulted right in front of you. They say her name. They moan. You know what I mean? They reenact the scene and everything. So I'm saying boisterous like that. And you do nothing about it. That's just pussy shit. That's beta shit. Where the fuck's my phone? Oh, my phone's right there. As soon as it's recording, I'm seeing myself. That's pussy shit. I think a lot of you are know, like that. That's the best way you can go. Study off yourself. Learn how to fight. I just had like a 40 minute sales pitch right now. Telling you learn to learn how to fight. But think about it. Like When anyone tells you to exercise, because exercise is inherently selfish. It's all for you. That time you spent exercising, you are the only person, only person suffering. You are the only person benefiting. You are the only person becoming more focused, disciplined, better shape, better health, etc. If someone tells you to exercise, that is not like for their own benefit they don't they don't get off to that shit usually usually 99.9% .9 of the time I don't know if it's some fucking weird fetish or I want to see him exercise and sweat and oh my god and I, I'm, I want to feel so hot that, that, that's, that's, just, that's, that's like some fucking comic book shit that's what happened in real life usually it's for your good intention it's for you so you can get into better shape so you can stand up for yourself so you can stop being a pussy 
And I think that pursuing a selfish endeavor like that is very, very, very powerful for what coming about. It's like, oh my God, think about it more. Like anyone that isn't selfish to an extent, they kind of just don't get what they want in life. Yeah, not the but yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty selfless. It's like an exercise. I'm doing exercise right now. I'm like getting into shape. And then some guys will be like, oh, oh, what can I do right now? What can I say? What's the one thing I can do? Hey, if I say so, when he texts me, uh, telling him to bring, buy him a condom and bring it over, and then he fucks my crush. So I've seen that shit in fucking porn one. Like NTR. I don't know if that's right. It probably does. You know, things that come out. Of me. I think thin air. Uh, I can just say, mm, nah. Oh, what I want, yay. Bro, he's gonna get the condom anyway. He's gonna fucking crush anyway, okay? The truth is, if you're completely and utterly selfish, you work on yourself through this, you get your income up, you get your bread up, you get into a fantastic, phenomenal shape, you get into a fantastic, phenomenal fighting shape, you don't have to fight, and you a thing, crunch you again, you, and you whoop him in front of his girl, and you fucking don't know what the fuck him after, you can be brutally attracted to him. It happens. And then you fuck after him, you're like, eh, it just stinks anyway. <laughs> that is crazy. Eh, whatever happens. So that's what I would like to say for this video. What well, I like to say for all my videos. For the video, like, this is my comeback video. Uh, it probably has to be like an actual video because like, I really like the um, thing and story I've said in this video. I really like everything in the video so far. Yeah, that's, uh, that's all i got to say for this video, honestly. Uh, anything else? Anything else? I'm going to see essentially my memory. I think I'm going to, like, I kind of warn Hamza a bit with this video. He probably won't watch the video, but if I do get viral at some point, the, the clip will come on, and he'll probably see it. But like, I gotta warn you, bro. Like, you have a audience of two million plus young men. This is a immensely, immensely dangerous rhetoric that you are pushing, and this is the first thing I've completely and utterly disagreed with. The fact that you just can verbally fight back. So hmm. I don't care. Mm, whatever. Uh, like that is stupid. That is what social media has taught you, and that is not what. The right path of Adonis thing will go on. Adonis. You know, Adonis would not start a fight. Adonis would let things happen and let the flow of time and destiny happen. And shit will come along and someone will threaten him and he will respond. Shit happens. Like my friend was threatening me with a right hook across my face. And he always threatens me with like, to punch me, etc., etc., etc. But it happened in real life, but he doesn't want to punch me. You can guess why. And I, I, typed in, I typed in chat, because I, I don't type in chat too much, I don't even WhatsApp that much anymore. I, I typed in chat, my boxing gym, Wai Lane Boxing Academy, Tuesday, Thursday, 6 p.m., 6 to 9 p.m. Then he ignored it, because he's a pussy. And then it, when I was doing push up before, he's like a skinny lanky dude, he doesn't exercise. He's like, oh yeah, I used to go to gym before, and he showed me his routine. Like, who cares about gym? Gym's fucking bullshit. With, with, I think not bullshit is being consistent with your own training and tr push ups are free bro, pull ups are free bro, you go to the park, pull ups are free. Motherfucker man, <laughs> dips are free usually, you need bedside dips, I go like this, that kind of shit. I live in your mobility, that like, kind of just, ugh, whatever. And you bang out like a hundred of them. You know, bro, when I was doing push ups in the office, I was doing clap push ups, I did like fucking 30 of them. He looked at me and I think, oh, that your turn now? He's like, no, I'll go do it because I'm not a slave. Like, am I a slave for doing push ups, for working out? getting a bigger chest, getting stronger, and other guys look at me like clapping and shit, and then, <laughs> and then he just looked at me like, oh, I gotta see my podcast, bro, <laughs> you know, uh, yo, Hammy, I'm looking at you, bro, oh, the Hammy, you know, the Hammy, that I know, and yeah, that's why I'm thinking, like, bro, like, what the fuck, man, it's a big mouth shit, stop doing push-ups with me, work out with me, what the fuck, but they don't want you, you say this a place they think, so I don't really give a fuck, whatever. I make this video for the small minority of men that will watch my videos, that will actually resonate with my videos, that will, you know, that will legitimately change their life. Like Top G himself. Like, Top G has impacted millions worldwide, but he's probably reached a billion plus worldwide. There is the 99.9% .9 that no one talks about, no one cares about. No, it's the 99% that no, that no one cares about, no one talks about, that have not been affected by his message, that no one gives a fuck. There's like, I can say, not, not really the 99%, I think the 70%. 
that like don't even fuck about him. They they know about him. They don't care about his message, etc., etc. And then there's like the twenty percent that absolutely and utterly hate him. No, the twenty two percent absolutely utterly hate him. And I could say like the one percent who has he who he has like the legit. Where the fuck are they? What the fuck? Ah, this is good, man. These fights are probably Jesus. Anyways, they would. Come on, do I gotta cop that out? Yeah, I think I gotta cop that out. Uh, 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 I, I, I know that was street, street post. Oh, whatever, man, I don't care that much. You can put it if you want. You can put it if you want. I can't find again. Why is it? Why not work like this? Anyways, like, his rhetoric is immensely, immensely dangerous, like, I don't know what I was, what I was talking about before. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Ugh. I don't know, man. There's a flyer right there. There's multiple fucking flies in my room, uh. See what I'm seeing, look at this guys. See this. Where are the it's in the P P Y massive balls? Um Turn off my train of thought there. I thought I come to see in my own room man. It's hot, tired, something else. I'll wait for the morning sway. Sorry. Mind myself, sorry. Uh, I don't know what to say. I just ended here. I know, let me retrace it back. Hands up, bad message, rhetoric. Social media, and it just cuts off. Like my memory just cuts off. Fuck, I, I need to watch back this video. I like the video.